Uh, Ice Age was actually became believed by geologists starting in 1840. It was an assault on uniformitarianism because there weren't glaciers around, continental glaciers covering much of Northern Europe and North America at the present time. So present processes can't account for the glaciation. So the Ice Age has been a major mystery ever since it was discovered. A special issue of U.S. News and World Report in August 1997 came out. The whole issue dedicated to the 18 greatest mysteries of science. Some of these mysteries were mysteries of their own making because they believe in evolution and can't explain a number of things. And one of the 18 is what causes ice ages? So they really don't know. An ice age is essentially defined as a great increase in ice and snow. What do you need for an ice age? First of all, you need a lot cooler summers and a lot more moisture, and it has to persist year after year. Right now, 10% of the land surface of the Earth is covered by ice, mainly the Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets. But during the ice age, 30% of the continental areas were covered. Practically all of Canada, the northern United States, the mountains of the western United States, northern Europe, in the Andes Mountains, in the mountains of Tasmania. Well, how do we know that ice covered these areas? The way to find out is you go to currently glaciated areas today, and practically all the glaciers in the world are receding, and so when they recede, you find out what they do.